It's time to get some sports views on the sports news. Time to take you into the pit tonight with Mike Claiborne from Claibs Online and Cardinal Radio Network and Ben Fredrickson from the Post-Dispatch. Ben Fredrickson, Mike Claiborne, good to be with you. Thanks so much for being a part of the pit. Right off the bat, Conzo Martin in this coaching job this year. How about it, Ben? Pretty impressive, Frank. Uh, I think a lot of people underestimated this team and, and how much uh, better it was going to be because of the, the experience and the growth that it's had just from guys being around and going through it. Um, Jeremiah Tillman is the best example of a guy getting a lot better over, over the course of his college career, and they're playing well together. They've got some of their shooters back on target. That was a big win in Knoxville, and you could tell by Conzo's celebration that he was pretty happy to get his first win there since he left the Volunteers. Speaking of coaching, what about Travis Ford and the Billikens finally coming back on Tuesday night? You know, I, I'm concerned only about this, the fact that they haven't had a chance to practice. You don't know what the conditioning is like. So for those players who were sitting in the 12th and 13th and 14th seats on the bench, they're going to probably have to play. And, and I'm wondering, does Travis Ford try and go the hockey style as far as substitutions and give guys limited blows with regard to opportunities to be on the floor? But I think if you're a guy who's sitting at the end of the bench, you're going to probably play a little bit more than you normally would in the month of January. Ben, baseball thought, gut feel. Do you believe what the commissioner is saying, spring training and the season starts on time? No, um, but I believe they're going to try to do that until there's a, there's a curveball of sorts, and I think that's really all they can do. Um, you know, there's probably going to be some setbacks um, at spring training. I think they will, you know, will most likely have to revisit this plan and kind of do what they did last year where they, they get in a room and they figure out, hey, this is our best way to attack 2021. They're not going to do that prematurely until they have to. That's baseball. That's the two sides right now, players and owners. I wouldn't be surprised to see if the players push the envelope and try and force some sort of deal as far as collective bargaining is concerned, where I hate to say the word strike, but I think that's on the table as well right now. Ben, gut feel on how the Molina and Wino sagas will unfold here. Man, good question, Frank. I still think at the end of the day, they're most likely to be back um, unless they just want to retire. I, I still think the Cardinals are going to make them as good of an offer as, as any other team out there for as much competition as we heard for, for Yachty and Wayno could be. They, they haven't signed deals elsewhere. Um, I think both of these guys want to play. I think they make the teams better. But if the Cardinals can't hit a number salary wise, even though it will be a lower one for both of these guys, probably, and they, they, they feel like it's insulting and they want to retire, I guess that's the only way I see them riding off into the, the sunset. I know Molina wanted a two year deal and I get it. And he, you know, he went from making $20 million a year. He doesn't want to take a massive pay cut. But here's the thing. You're only worth as much as some other team will offer you unless you don't want to play anymore. So I, I think he does want to keep playing. Um, he's probably just going to have to take a pay cut. And there's really no rush on this, but I don't see a line of teams, other teams waiting to sign these guys. The Cardinals need them back. They're a better team with them. Plus they need a, a reason or two to make people want to show up at the ballpark. So I think they're back until I hear differently. All right. Quick hockey thought, Mike. Besides Jordan Bennington, who's the most important player on the Blues moving forward? I still think it's Ryan, Ryan O'Reilly. I, I think he is the guy who stirs the drink for this hockey team. Um, you know, obviously you've got some other guys you need to have play better, but Ryan O'Reilly night in night out is the best hockey player on this hockey team. Uh, other than Jordan Bennington, as far as people are counting on. 